Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Perfect World based on novel. So let's start. Father, are you going to gouge out my bone? The door pushed open. Jean Hao appeared, his face appearing calm. His eyes were deep as he stood there, no longer stepping forward. Cha Xiling opened his mouth. However, nothing came out. That's fine. Father, mother, if you two feel that this can save older brother, then come over and take my bone. Qin Hao said. Child, you don't need to overthink things. In our hearts, you and your big brother are both equally important. We would never make you a sacrifice. Qin Ening said while shedding tears, appearing incomparably pained. Wasteland region Stone Country's War King, Ming King, and Peng King have come to pay a visit. Please open the mountain gate. Many of Immortal Mountain's people's faces changed. This was an era without deities, and even supreme experts were hard to find, yet Stone Country unexpectedly had three supreme experts. This made everyone shiver in fear. Stone Country's kings have arrived. Is this to deal with us? The old woman who held the green wood staff became gloomy. She felt like this things weren't looking good. Outside the mountain gate, the Ming King, War King, and Peng Nine stood together, and behind them were many powerful experts as well. They were all king-level figures who wore armor that flickered with cold glint. Every single one of them carried a few wooden cases that contained precious medicines. The so-called Peng King was precisely Peng Nine. This was a title Xia Hao bestowed. Kings, please come in. Eventually, the Qin clan opened the mountain gate, inviting them in. They presumed that they came for Shahao, so it was likely that they weren't here to fight. Your Majesty. Emperor. When the old kings saw Shahao's deathly pale face, their voices all trembled and old tears fell. Was this still the world-shaking little stone? There were injuries all over his body, cracked like a piece of porcelain that might break apart at any moment. There wasn't the slightest trace of blood in him. When compared to his former heroicness, his dominating valiance, it was just too far. Back then, Shahao entered the imperial palace alone in spite of the dangers to save Qin Feng and several old kings, letting them live. Then, he continuously fought alone against deities, ultimately falling to this state. Your majesty, you have to persevere and live. An old king said. The room was full of people. They were all kings from Stone Country. However, Xia Hao's eyes were closed, remaining unconscious. Bring the bowl over and dissolve this half of a holy pill. The war king spoke. Apart from a stalk of holy medicine, they also obtained half a pill. This was a holy grade medicine that possessed divine effectiveness. There wasn't much time left. Qin clan's people sent over a jade bowl that scattered out spiritual essence. Multicolored light flickered about. The war king poured a bit of spiritual liquid inside to dissolve this holy pill. Qin clan, do you all want to die? Do you want to be wiped out? The war king shouted even more loudly. His voice rang into the distance, making this entire palace shake. Who is acting with such insolence? You dare to come to my immortal mountain and still act so unbridled. A reply sounded from the distance. A group of elders appeared. You harmed my stone clan's emperor yet you still act so dignified. Are you looking to die? A comparatively younger king-level figure shouted. My clan rescued the little stone out of good intentions, yet you all haven't repaid us with gratitude, but instead slander. What kind of reasoning is this? The old woman who held the green wood staff said with a downcast face. You dare. The old woman's status was clearly not ordinary. She brandished her green wooden staff, a precious artifact, to defend herself. Why wouldn't he I dare? Peng Nine shouted. The golden Peng Claw descended, breaking apart that greenwood staff and grabbing her up in one go as if she was a little bird, almost ending her life just like that. Impudent. An enormous wave of pressure surged over. Qin Clan's supreme expert took action. It is you all who are impudent. The Ming King took action, blasting him back. Immortal Mountain, you all actually dare to injure our emperor, and not only once. What exactly did you do to my stone clan's emperor? Do you want to be wiped out? The war king was even more domineering. 
Shazailing and his wife guarded Shahau's bed, not stopping them. They were also angry. They never expected these people to continuously play dirty tricks, actually daring to do this kind of stuff. Truly unbridled. You dare to threaten to end my immortal mountain. Qin clan's supreme expert said in anger. Meanwhile, behind the three supreme experts, those king-level figures all pulled out their weapons. Their armors shone one after another. Their precious artifacts were chilly, releasing powerful killing intent. How powerful was this group of experts? Any one of them could be granted the title of king in the present world. They all possessed power at the top of this world. When Immortal Mountain saw them all grouped up like this, Immortal Mountain was completely overshadowed. Bullying my stone country like this and humiliating my stone emperor, all of you deserve to die. A middle-aged king level figure said. His nature was more violent. In his hands was a heaven might halberd. With a hong sound, he attacked first, hacking outwards. You all have crossed the line. Qin clan's elder roared, but he was clearly not looking as imposing as before. They released the aura of deities. A terrifying wave of energy rippled outwards. Even though the country protecting divine halberd and golden magical sword that Shahao used in the final battle had been damaged, there were other divine magical artifacts in stone country. They were now brought over. Humiliating my stone clan, today, we demand an explanation. If you don't explain yourselves, then what harm is there in wiping out your inheritance today? The war king said coldly. If stone emperor wasn't injured, would you all have dared to act like this? Do not forget who it was that overturned your immortal mountain back then. Peng Nine coldly exposed an old scar. While speaking, his hands forcefully tightened. That old woman cried out miserably as numerous bones broke. Then, she was tossed onto the ground. You all, the old woman's face turned yellow, directly going unconscious. Her cultivation had been ruined, if you all won't give us a satisfactory explanation, then a war it is. Who is my stone country scared of? The Ming King spoke. Today, they had to choose their actions carefully, because their fighting strength wasn't comparable to before. This had never happened before, being forced to endure everything silently and push out this scapegoat was truly the same as taking a slap to the face. Every single individual's face was burning hot. They felt furious inwardly, finding this difficult to accept. It was because they were Immortal Mountain, a sect that previously looked down on the eight regions for many eras. Today, they were actually given such a blow to the face like this and forced to take it. Stone Country's King level figures released a snort. Would they be scared of a youth? Jean Hao wore divine magical clothes. At this moment, his chest shone. Symbols erupted in large amounts, also a silver color. They were incomparably holy and pure, releasing terrifying fluctuations. Shazailing and his wife sighed. Their second son came, so they had no choice but to stand up and try to mediate things. They couldn't let the situation get any worse. Peng Nine took action, blasting that scapegoat to pieces with a single strike. Blood splashed out in all directions. At this moment, Qin Hao's expression went rigid. On the other side, the faces of everyone from the Qin clan darkened, and the veins on their foreheads jumped. However, they still endured it in the end. This palm felt as if it landed on everyone's faces. Right at this moment, Shahao woke up. He widened his eyes and weakly said, Father, Mother, I don't want the immortal bone. If it is like this, I would rather die. He looked at the war king, Peng Nine, and the others and said, Escort me back to Stone Country. Hao. Qin Ening grabbed his hand. How could they let him leave Shahao weakly comforted, Mother, don't cry. Thank you for nurturing me with such love, but I can't repay you. I truly don't want little brother's bone. I experienced all of this already, so how can I make him go through the same thing? Qin Ening cried loudly, feeling incomparable sorrow. Shazailing clenched his fists and roared in a low voice. This was an incredibly difficult decision no matter who had to make it. War King, Peng King, carry me up. Shahao said. His eyes lacked radiance, no longer appearing heroic and imposing. Right now, his condition was extremely grave. Several kings lifted him up, guarding at his side. I already saw my father and mother. It was very warm here, so I don't have any regrets left. 
Shahao said softly to his parents. A trace of blood could be seen at the corners of his lips. Then, he turned around and looked at the old kings, I still have two wishes. One is to return to Stone Country to look around, and the second is to bury myself not too far from Stone Village. I want to stay there. Your Majesty. The War King and the others felt incomparable sadness. This was originally the world's most astonishing youth, yet he ended up in this kind of state. It truly made others feel sour at heart. He originally should have been extremely magnificent and rushed into the nine heavens, yet in the end, he was going to die an untimely death. Your Majesty, you will definitely get better. We don't know where Stone Village is. That place is isolated from the outside world. However, I believe Ching Feng will appear soon. They didn't know how to console him. Meanwhile, those king-level figures all walked up as well, looking at him with great sadness. Originally, he was definitely going to become a supreme being who no one could match. Why did it end up like this? They were all unwilling to accept this. They felt anger in Shahao's place, feeling regret. Let's go, return to Stone Country. Shahao said softly. Soon after, he went unconscious again, because he was too weak. You cannot bring him away. There is no way that he can travel through the void in his current state. He can't handle that type of torment. Shazailing spoke to stop them. The War King, Ming King and the others nodded. Shahao's condition was too terrible. There was no way they could bring him away, or else he might very well die along the way. Early in the morning, sunlight scattered inside. It was full of vigorous energy. Shahao woke up. When he saw the morning multicolored light that filled the courtyard, he sighed. He remained silent, not saying anything. Everyone was pleasantly surprised. His condition seemed to have improved a bit. This made the great doctors quite shocked. Reporting, there are guests who have arrived. Right at this moment, Immortal Mountain's people received more guests. Some people had come to pay a visit. Who is it? The Qin clansman frowned, feeling greatly helpless. Also people from the wasteland region. Let it be, allow them in. Soon after, Xi Youyu, Xiao Tian, Zhu Yuhao, Yang Xin and the others from Heaven Mending Pavilion Disciples came as a group. Even though their inheritance had been destroyed, quite a few people were still alive. When they heard that Shahao encountered a disaster, these people were all greatly shaken. The powerful little stone, who had splendid and endless prospects, was actually going to die. They found this difficult to accept. Heaven Mending Pavilion could be rebuilt, and it was all because Shahao rose to power, sweeping through all directions, wiping out Western Tomb Beast Mountain, and several other great enemies. Several dozen people came to meet him. You all came, Shahao smiled, but his complexion was extremely weak, causing these people to sigh. The previously high-spirited youth actually fell to this degree. It was clear that he didn't have much life left in him. You will get better. Everyone said softly. They truly couldn't bear to see him die. They were all feeling emotional. Reporting, there are more guests at the gate. Immortal Mountain's higher-level figures received another report. Soon after, the nine-headed lion, Flame Crow, Rainbow One, and the others that Shahao met in the Hundred Shattering Mountains came. Apart from these, the nine-headed lion's ancestral grandfather Nine Spirit King also came. They looked incredibly sad, all of them feeling powerless without any way of rescuing Shahao. Being able to see you all again already makes me extremely happy. Shahao said. Even though his face was lacking color, his smile was still incredibly bright. Fire Nation's prince has arrived to pay a visit. Great Mystery Sect Sect Master's carriage has arrived. Green Feather Race's old Sect Master has arrived. Spirit Race's king level figures came to pay a visit. Ocean Clan's Green Flood Dragon Supreme Expert has arrived. For the next half day, Immortal Mountain's gate seemed to have been trampled flat. People from Great Powers all overcame to meet the Little Stone one last time to see him off. Unfortunately, Shahao was going to fall. Even though today was a grand occasion, it wasn't a happy thing. He was in such a critical state and about to die prematurely. Many people sighed. There were just too many people. In the end, Shazailing, War King, Peng Nine, and the others couldn't help but stop them. They couldn't let them visit him any longer, or else it would seriously worsen Shahao's situation. 
When night fell, Shahao's small courtyard became peaceful. Normal people couldn't come close at all. They were all stopped. Stone Emperor, your body carries a sickness. No one knows exactly what will happen. Why don't you take this chance to carve down the Kuanpeng precious technique now to prevent it from dying out? Your Majesty. The War King, Peng Nine and the others were greatly alarmed. How complex and profound was the Kuanpeng technique? It was definitely not something that could be casually carved. You have to understand that back then, when Shahao was observing this technique in the Northern Sea's Kuanpeng nest, he spent several days of work before remembering the complex imprints that covered the sky like stars. And now, if he tried to carve down a technique like this in this type of state, he would definitely tire himself to death. Hower, you must not. Shazailing and his wife stopped him. They definitely couldn't allow him to do this. I already made the decision. Shahao shook his head. He wanted to leave this technique behind for Stone Country. He also had to send a copy back to Stone Village. Even though the Willow Deity had cultivated it as well, after entering through those Dao gates, its current whereabouts were completely unknown. He didn't know if it was even still alive. He didn't want the Kuanpeng technique to be lost in inheritance. He wanted to leave it in this world. The bone had already arrived. No one could stop Shahao. That evening, he had everyone leave, and then he began to carefully inscribe the symbols. When Shazailing walked in, he noticed that there was blood all over his chest. He immediately cried out to forcefully stop him, Your Majesty. Several old kings trembled inwardly. They all did everything they could to oppose him, not willing for him to continue. My condition isn't too good and would always go unconscious. It seems like even if I do everything, I could only carve out half of the true mysteries. Shahao sighed softly. When the sky was completely dark, Immortal Mountain was in a state of panic again, because another group of people came. This time, there were over a hundred. They all made a large racket, shouting as they rushed towards Shahao's little courtyard. Grandpa Chief. Shahao threw aside the bone piece in his hands. His eyes became blurry, and his nose became sour. Almost everyone from Stone Village hurried over. The old chief Shi Yunfeng lead everyone, and behind him were Shifei Jiao, Shi Linghu, Ching Feng, Pi Hu, Hu Zi, and the others. There were also many uncles and aunts. This group was incredibly loud. Their eyes were all completely red, filling up the courtyard. Only a small group could enter the house. Child, we've wronged you. Let's go home. The old village chief was trembling as he caressed Shi Hao's head, just like how he did it when he was young. Child, don't cry. Uncle will bring you home. We've wronged you. Shaleen Hu said with a trembling voice. He was a man that walked out from the great wastelands, a strong and well-built man, but right now, his eyes were red, and he was choking with sobs. Go. Let's go back. Shafajia walked up, preparing to lift up Shahao. When he saw the blood on his chest, his eyes widened, feeling incomparably sorrowful. Child, you will become well again. Let's go back to Stone Village. We'll never come out again and forever spend out days in peace, withdrawing from worldly affairs. Village chief Shi Yunfeng said with a trembling voice. His rough hand caressed Shi Hao's head and face. Shi Hao forcefully nodded. Sincere and honest words, simple actions, this made a stream of heat flow from his heart. His nose felt sore, and hot tears rolled down his face. The villagers didn't think too much coming over noisily. Their pain and sorrow were all written over their faces. They were simple and honest people, speaking true words that reflected their state of mind. Hauer has continuously brought back descendant precious blood, spiritual medicines, and many other things back to the village from the outside world, just like an adult who is providing for his loved one inch when the clan chief said this, his face that was covered in wrinkles was smiling but also crying. He was deeply touched. Several years ago, just how old was Shahao? Yet he walked out into the great wastelands, entering the hundred shattering mountains, proceeding into the Kuanpeng nest, and encountering many powerful individuals. However, he back everything from the outside world back to the village. The three supreme experts, Shazailing, and his wife consulted a few great doctors, and after carefully analyzing the situation, they decided to form a rebirth pond to give it a try. Immortal Mountain had a type of rebirth technique that was known as Five Elements Rebirth. 
They had enough medicinal pills now. Chin Ening personally set it up, because she felt that she could make the perfect rebirth pond to cleanse Shahao's flesh and restore his vitality. They were going to try to have him undergo rebirth. Since his condition has improved a bit, he might be truly successful. If we add a few drops of immortal spring, then the effects would be even greater. The War King also spoke. In reality, the Supreme Experts were still hoping that if they had no choice, that they could still use the immortal bone to save Shahao. That was why they didn't want him to leave. Otherwise, with how the Qin clan was acting, the three Supreme Experts would have acted out a long time ago, fighting a great battle before leaving. Shalinhu, Shifejiao, Erming, Pihu, and Qingfeng walked up as well, surrounding Shahao and personally looking after him, not letting any more people closer. Great powers from all around the world came unendingly, making Immortal Mountain an extremely lively place. Grandpa Chief, I want to leave the Immortal Spring with Stone Village. Don't waste it on my body anymore. Shahao knew the state of his own body. He really didn't want them to waste it like this. However, how could they agree to this request? They had him bring this drop of divine liquid into the pond of rebirth to carry out the treatment. His body was covered in injuries, and the bones in his body were full of cracks. He was submerged in mist as soon as he entered. A large amount of spiritual essence poured into his body to nourish his injured body. It is effective. Everyone was happy. They saw that Shahao's body was shining. His injuries were wriggling about, and sounds of his bones touching could be heard. They felt like the pond was starting to work. The great doctors frowned. They carefully watched without saying anything. Shahao's eyes were closed as he sat there, allowing several supreme experts to help him neutralize the medicinal strength and baptize his flesh. Qin Ening and Ji Xiling were protecting this place even more carefully, personally guiding the process. They understood the structure and effects of the rebirth pool. Right now, their expressions were incomparably nervous. Shahao sighed inwardly. He then silently operated the technique. Back then, for the sake of rescuing his parents and searching for his grandfather, he had wreaked havoc here and obtained the five element rebirth secret passage. He knew that healing here would have its uses, but it wouldn't be able to change his fate. Other people didn't know, but he understood clearly. The green rust curse symbols were becoming more and more concentrated, merging into the depths of his bones, making them incredibly difficult to expel. During that night, Shahao went unconscious several times and woke up again several times. He was welcomed with the brilliant multicolored clouds of morning. Many people stood in the distance, watching the pond of rebirth from afar and waiting for the result. They didn't sleep the entire night. How is he? Finally, they heard sounds from the pond water. Stone villages people and stone country's nobility all rushed over to ask together. The war king shook his head, revealing a grave expression. The five element rebirth pond seemed to improve Shahao's state a bit but it was still unable to completely eliminate those curse symbols. The three supreme experts carefully inspected his body, noticing that as time went on, that green rust became more and more dense. We are going to leave right now. Shalin Hu said. He didn't want to stay here any longer. Let's wait a bit longer. Several great doctors are discussing to see if they could use divine acupuncture to stimulate his body's vitality. Let's see their final opinions. Peng Nine spoke with an unpleasant expression. In the little courtyard, Shahao welcomed the morning multicolored lights while lying down on a soft chair. His head was lowered, currently focusing his attention on carving a bone. That was the Kuan Peng technique. Shahao wiped away the trace of blood and lightly waved his hands, telling them not to be nervous or angry. This is my own decision. I want to leave this technique behind for Stone Country and Stone Village. We don't want it. You just need to become better. Shalin Hu said. If it wasn't the Qin clan setting their thoughts on this precious technique, how could it be like this? The faces of Stone Village's people became ugly. They were extremely worried. Shahao shook his head. He began to earnestly carve down the Kuan Peng technique again, pouring all of his attention into this task. Didn't the Qin clan just want to play the family card and have Qin Hao inherit the technique? Hao's body won't be able to handle it. He will exhaust himself to death. Qin Hao has the immortal bone in his body, so why aren't you all showing any initiative? Of course, Hao is someone from Stone Village, 
so his natural disposition is the same as us either. Ching Feng cried. He held Xia Hao's arm, not letting him carve any more. He wanted to immediately bring Xia Hao away from here. The War King, Ming King, and Peng King's faces were ugly as they paced back and forth. They were still disappointed in the end. There was no way. We don't want that bone. Let's go back and leave this place. We aren't going to wait for him to die here. Shalin Hu roared in a low voice. When Xia Xiling and Qin Ening heard this, they felt as if a knife was being twisted in their hearts. This was their child. How could they just watch as he died, great doctors, if we exchange the bone, is there any way to increase the chances of success? The two asked with trembling voices. Zhong Zhong had always been observing Xia Hao this entire time. When he heard this, he sighed softly and said, Stone Emperor looks like he is getting better, but he has always been exhausting his supreme being blood to prolong his own life. He still has unfulfilled wishes and wants to return home. What? Everyone cried out in alarm. How could it be like this? Their faces all turned incredibly pale. If we transplant the immortal bone now, it is already a bit late. Stone Emperor's supreme being blood's exhaustion is severe, go, we are leaving. Returning to the wasteland region, returning to stone country, returning to our village. Chief Shi Yunfeng also shouted. Old tears flew left and right uncontrollably. Great doctors, is there truly no way? Qin Ening felt as if her soul had left her body, as if she was going to go unconscious at any moment. Her face was deathly pale without any color. Zhong Zhong shook his head and said, It's a bit too late. We have waited too long. Shazediling howled, his hair flying chaotically everywhere as if he fell into depravity. The little stone returned. This shook the wasteland region. He returned from Immortal Mountain unconscious. His body was covered in injuries with blood flowing out everywhere. He entered Stone Country Imperial Palace. The little stone is actually quite pitiful. Ever since he was young, he had his supreme being bone gouged out, becoming unbearably feeble, almost dying in his swaddling clothes. Later on, he was left in a remote village without his parents ever since he was young, relying on himself to survive. Finally, he walked into the great wastelands alone, fighting his way to greatness. What a pity. In the end, he still ended up like this. What a pity. Truly lamentable. The world was sighing. Just how many years had passed since something like this happened? All eight regions were discussing the matters of a single region. Quite a few people came to pay a visit. It could be considered a type of sending off, wishing to see him one last time. Stone Country, Imperial Palace. The three great supreme experts, Stone Country's kings, as well as Stone Village's people didn't give up. They were still trying to think of a way. For the sake of saving Shahao, the War King, Peng Nine, and others earnestly requested the villagers to have Shahao remain in the palace and not bring him away immediately. They spread the news to the rest of the world that as long as they could save Shahao, as long as there was a way, Stone Country was willing to pay any price. This piece of iron, no, this isn't metal. This is the body of a divine bug. The great Dr. Zhong Zhong also came here. He browsed through these old objects and picked up a black object. It looked like a piece of iron, and when it was struck, metallic sounds could be heard. Part 1 End Here